Hi, how are you? I am Mr. Moso, a renowned historian in Zimbabwe. Today we want to talk about the social activities that were done by the people who survived long ago. We are mostly worried about the uh, uh, games, the social games, the cultures that were done by the people who survived long ago. You know, people who survived long ago, they had an interesting time. They enjoyed themselves. Like today, we are going to enjoy uh, this uh, lesson. We are going to have some of the cultures, uh, some of the games, some of the norms and values that were done by these people who survived long ago. Let's start with this culture that was done by the people long ago. I'll start with singing. It was one of the culture that was done. For example, when they were celebrating the harvest of the first fruit, for example, when they were celebrating any religious or social activity in the society or in the community, People gathered, people had to clap hands, people singing, people singing, enjoying themselves, thanking their ancestors, thanking their God, providing enough rain for celebrating as they, they gathered as a community or as a, a state. So singing was so important. For example, also, they could sing when one was tilting uh, his or her field, when the child was crying, a child was put at the back by the mother, and the mother started to sing as a way of making the child keep quiet. Mwana uye so by so doing the child could keep quiet. So singing, it was an interesting aspect that was done by the people who survived long ago. These people, they were also involved in the playing of uh, games. They could play what was known as a nodo or pada. So pada could be done. It could be played by small girls, small boys, as they were entertaining themselves, as they were enjoying themselves. It was also a norm. It was also a culture that was done by the people who survived a long ago. The people who survived long ago, they also practiced another culture, and this culture, it was a culture of making sure that the kids could grow up knowing their norms and values. For example, early in the morning when one woke up or one woke up in the morning, what were you supposed to do when you meet your father, your mother, or any elderly member in the society? Makadini Baba. Mamuka say Baba, good morning father, good morning mother. It was a way also that was taught, that was impacted to the children, greeting the elderly in the morning, where, oh, when you were moving, going anywhere, you meet an elderly member, you see that usually they had to greet children or any uh, what elderly members in the society, they were to greet each other. Makadini, Makadini, how are you, how are you? Eh, kurise, kumba, mukauru, nzou, ah, shumba, Makadini, Muriri say, greeting the shumba, greeting the lion, greeting the zebras uh, using their totems. It was also another culture that was impacted, that was done in the communities, in those people who survived uh, long ago. So you can see that uh, our elderly members long ago, they followed interesting cultures, and these cultures now, it led uh, eventually uh, societies, communities to have stability, unity, coexistence. Why? It was because they grew up respecting each other. They grew up knowing that a man or a woman you are supposed to be uh, taught these values so that a good society, a good man, a good woman eventually was going to be uh, what, uh, to, but to be uh, what, uh, there in the what in the uh, society. And that is what we have for today on the uh, cultures that were done a long ago. Thank you so much. I'm Mr. Muso.